And we woke up this morning to a beautiful, beautiful fall day. These are the kind of days you dream about. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. The sun is out. The leaves are changing. And a motorcycle is ready to go. And that's what makes this whole thing special. You just put the radar detector on, check the air in the tires, check the oil, have an extra cup of coffee, and we're on the open road. And again, it's not going to be long before we're going to be doing our restoration on this soon-to-be 11-year-old 650. This will be a very unusual bike to customize. I think it's going to be really special when we're done. We did so much work on the R1 lately. We have got it. Turned it from a Ferrari back into an R1. Got a lot of work done in this bike. Finally, finally got the speedometer working. What an adventure. And some... Some new brake discs, that should improve that for the, the rest of the riding season. And we really ride right into when the weather really gets nasty, but it's nice to get all this maintenance done before we start a restoration project. And for anybody who might not know, or this is the first video you're watching, the whole restoration of this motorcycle, every sanding, <laughs> broken bolt, replace the forks, replace everything that we possibly had to or could. And we really have... Uh, this is just, in fact, we're going to ride it today, so why should I talk about it? It's the riding, and that's the whole reason we do this, is so we can ride the bikes. It's one of the joys of having a small bike collection, is get to pick and choose who pitches, who catches, who plays the outfield, and who you're just going to take apart and restore. It's, it's quite an adventure. So one thing a lot of people don't do, and I do it every time I ride the bike, is check the tire pressure. So what happens is the weather's cooled off now. I mean, we, the last time we rode this bike, it was probably in the 80s or 90s. And it's, right now it's in the high 50s, going to 60. And the air pressure in the tires has dropped down quite a bit, almost three pounds. So there's, there's even a better reason when the weather changes, if whatever tire pressure you like to use, I like to use about 30 pounds because the, the roads here are kind of bumpy, but it changes as the weather gets cold, that 30 becomes 27. Such a good tip to check that air pressure every time you ride the bike. And especially if you're going to ride one day it's really hot, one day it's cool, you'll notice how quickly it changes. And one of the questions I always ask myself, and I'm sure other people are thinking the same thing, boy, you put in so many hours on this last year. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. I think it was about nine months and 800 hours, but today I'll get to uh, reap what I sow.
Time I come home from a uh, a ride on one of the bikes that I've restored, and I have the blood. My blood is in the uh, paintwork and everything. I always think all winter I was in this freezing cold garage over here, and looking on the internet for parts and polishing things and polishing bolt heads and whatever, hand buffing those rims, or whatever. And the minute you go take a ride like a ride like today, you totally forget the pain and agony of the restoration and all you can think of is wow I'm gonna have this bike until the day I die so I hope you enjoyed it hey and Dallas I hope you're enjoying this is the this is the end of our summer our new friend Dallas get that GS polished up get me some more pictures anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope everybody enjoyed the video and thanks for watching <laughs>